Hey there, Michelle here from Lucid Press. Today I am going to teach you how to design your own YouTube banner in less than four minutes. Things you're gonna need are a Lucid Press account. It is absolutely free and includes the free template we are going to use today. That creative brain of yours and less than four minutes. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what Lucid Press looks like when you first log in. And as you can see, there are a variety of templates you can choose from. But if you click more templates and then social media and then YouTube, the one that we're going to use today is the YouTube channel art banner as it's already set up for the recommended size that we're going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to the top left corner and update my document name so that I can easily organize and find it later in my docs list. So the key thing to know here is that your banner will look pretty different and display in different sizes depending on what device your audience is using. So a TV, phone, or computer, for example. And the optimal size for YouTube banners is 2560 by 1440 pixels. And you can see over here, if we switch this to pixels, that we're doing okay there. The template is already set up for us. And then this safe area here is 1280 by 350 pixels. And what that means is that it's designating where you should put your logos, text, or anything else you'd want to guarantee your audience sees no matter what device they're using. Okay, let's update the image. There are a couple different ways to do this in LucidPress. One way is to simply double click the image and then you can upload one and insert it. My personal preference is just to open up my folder here with my image already in it and simply drag it into place over that placeholder image like this. And voila! Now it looks like the image is just a bit zoomed in for my taste, so if I hit crop, I can adjust the size and move it around so that we get less dirt and more sky in this banner. Awesome, there we go. So next you can see that any element of this template is editable. So we have a few text boxes and a square shape we can select and move around. To add shape elements to your doc, if that's your cup of tea, you've got a few options over here on your left with the shapes button. But I've got a slightly different vision in mind, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these elements here and type in some new text. My super catchy slogan, of course. I can expand the text box to make it all fit. Hit center. And then over here are my fonts. There's a slew of fonts to choose from. It is an option to upload your own brand fonts, just so you guys know. It is a premium feature, but it is pretty helpful if the banner you're creating is for your brand and you want to use your own font. But on the free account, you do have plenty to choose from. I'm going to go with Chunk 5, mostly just because the name sounds really cool. And I want to move this text over so it's easier to see on that bridge that provides a darker background. And I may even want to adjust the font size and decrease that line spacing a little bit. Now, the last thing we want to do is delete the safe area box and text because we won't want that exported on our final JPEG. So deleting those, and then looks like we've got a little white space at the bottom of our image. So I'm just moving the image down a titch to cover that. And now we're ready to export. To download your banner, just go to File, Download As, and then you can save it as a JPEG, and then you'll just hit download and your banner will be ready to shine on YouTube. All right, guys, to get a link to the YouTube banner template I used in this tutorial, just click on the link in the description below and don't forget to subscribe.